Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Wolo. I love to share information about life in Canada and everything useful. And I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos and have also shared my videos. I want to say thank you to you. I'm very grateful for all the sharing, the likes, the comments and everything. And for people that have not responded to their emails, please forgive me. I'll try to create time to respond to them. It's not easy. It's not really easy combining so many things at the same time, but I'll try. Today is not the usual immigration topic and because um, the year is already running to an end and a lot of things have happened during the year. So um, people are winding down to like relaxing during this Christmas season. So let's not just, you know, bombard the whole place with only immigration 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 so now i want to talk about the easiest jobs one can get as a new immigrant everything is usually dependent on one's strategy and the strategy you get to put in place before you actually leave your home country into canada um, will help you a lot um, in terms of settling down getting a job that is in line with your career plan and also um, not being in the job market for too long. For some people, they just want to get the visa and leave the country and just, just come and see how things can work out. While some people actually take their time to plan and strategize and put things in place and learn lots and lots and lots of information before they actually make the move of coming. And then another category of people actually come to Canada for a soft landing um, do some form of survey registrations and then go back to plan again before their final big move. Those are the three categories of people. But this video is for people who just want to come. They don't want to um, remain. They just like got their visa. Next thing is pack their bags and they are leaving. They will come and sort things out here. No time to plan. No time to find out information or whatsoever. So. And this group of people, sometimes they just come and want to pick up any job. And um, it's not their fault though. They just want to start somewhere, pick up any job to start paying their bills. And this video will be good for such group of people. So there are actually easy jobs people can get as a new immigrant in Canada. The first one is customer service or call center agent. So a customer service job or a call center agent is one of the easiest job uh, a new immigrant can get when he or she arrives in Canada because there's a high turnover in that industry and they're always looking for people to, you know, fill in the gaps and all that. That's why people can easily get that job. And most times the pay is not so good, it's not so fantastic. So if you can speak very well and can type fast because they will test your typing skills, if you can speak very well and can type fast, then you can actually look for any customer service job. And most times these jobs are usually advertised by recruiters or recruiting company like Randstad, Drake, Robert Half. These are the group of um, recruiting organizations that actually have those jobs on offer. So it's easy for you to just walk into those places and you know talk to them. They will schedule an appointment with you. Within one week, you're already doing an interview and maybe within one week, you're already getting a job as a call center agent or as a customer service person. So that's number one. The second job, um, second easiest job to get is the administrative assistant job. And that is very easy because um, a lot of organizations are always looking for administrative assistants. And um, many of these um, settlement agencies also have um, links with employers who are looking for administrative assistance. If you are an administrative assistant, it's easy for you to get such jobs. They will also test your Microsoft Office skills. Or if you're able to get a good typing skills, let's say 45 words per minute, then you can easily get the administrative assistant job. The pay is not so much, but at least it's a good start, which you can use to you know kind of upgrade yourself. And from there, you can actually move from being an administrative assistant into human resources. It's easier to move from admin to human resources and then, you know, upwards. So that's the second easiest job to get. The third easiest job to get is um, security. That's one thing a lot of new immigrants rush to take because of the shift, the potential of having a shift um, job. That can give them time to actually read or study for exams and certifications to upgrade themselves or get a better offer 
and it's it's a very easy job to do i mean you're not really doing anything except for sitting down and watching people and sometimes most people want to take a night shift which can give them the time to like you know study or do some other things during the day and so it's an easy job to get but it will require you to get one or two security guard certificates before you can get the job and um, companies like gada gada world and um g4s and um i think those are the only two things two companies i remember they are always recruiting security guards and there's also a high turnover for security guards so it's very easy to get a security guard job and with that security guard job you can actually progress to a law enforcement officer in canada and um, the pay is also not much all these jobs i'm talking about their pays are not fantastic but at least it's a good start to pay the bills, especially for people who do not want to rely on any form of assistance. You know, it's a good start to kind of pay the bills. The next easiest job to get in Canada is the home support worker or home care job. They call it care. care. I don't know. That's what they call it. And it's a very easy job to get, but you will have to do some form of um, checks. And that is... Criminal record check, child abuse check, adult abuse check. And before I progress, um, for the security guard job as well, you have to do criminal record check, child abuse check, and adult abuse check. It's a requirement for security guard and then a security guard certificate, which is about $40 or $50. Then for home care as well, for home care or home support worker, you also need to do those checks, criminal record check child abuse check and adult abuse check you also need to get certification in cpr and first aid because you'll be working with vulnerable people it's important to have um, a certificate in first aid and cpr and it's um, about 50 dollars or 80 dollars i don't know depending on the province you land in and this is the job that most medical people uh, people who are in the healthcare industry um, get first because uh, it gives them time to actually read for their exams and their licensing and all that. The pay is just there, it's not so fantastic, but at least it gives someone time to actually prepare and read for your exams without being overly drained. It is not a demanding job, so people tend to go for it because it is a, easy, it's a very easy job to do. Um, although some people do not like it in terms of um, taking care of people with one form of disability or the other That's not everybody likes it but um it's a it's a very it's a relatively easy job and sometimes you can find yourself in a place where you are practically not doing anything it's just for you to check if um, the people have been taken care of some people also go ahead to get the healthcare aid certificate with the healthcare aid certificate it's a step ahead with a higher pay and you're able to work more um taking care of people so nurses medical doctors anybody who is in the healthcare field generally healthcare field um sometimes this is what they go for the next easiest job to get is a warehouse job so for people who are who have this physical strength if you have a physical strength um it's easy to get a warehouse job the only thing you require to you are required to get is maybe get a fork, forklift certificate and getting a forklift certificate is it's very cheap if you can get a forklift certificate and uh, you say you know how to um, use the forklift machine then you can get a warehouse job or sometimes you don't necessarily need to get a forklift certificate uh, you can actually um be a picker or a packer you know packing items into boxes and all that or picking items moving them from one part of the warehouse to the other part of the warehouse or loading a truck those are those things are very easy but it's a, phys a physically demanding job and sometimes um it, it can affect your health but people who don't mind they actually go for it and um you know it can help to just pay one or two bills that then from there you progress you can actually progress from being in the warehouse to logistics department and then from there to supply chain and then you progress for that if you want to build a career out of it. So um, that's another easy job anybody can get, anybody who, is, who plans to immigrate to Canada. If you want to get a job within one week, you can always get it because they are always looking for people. Um, the turnover is usually high. Like I mentioned, these jobs are easy to get because the turnover is very high people are leaving the jobs all every day 
and looking for something better, looking for a better pay, looking for a better opportunity. It's just a a job to get started, kind of. So that's um, another easier job. Then the last but not the least is um, retail sales job. The retail sales job is um, one of the easiest jobs to get for people who love to interact with people, make sales and all that. Um, it's easy to get if you want to work with Walmart, if you want to work with um, Loblaws or Real Canadian Superstore or Costco or Home Depot. You know, it's, a, it's an easy job to get. So you just apply and um, the requirements are not much. They don't really require anything. They just request people who can physically lift maybe a 25 kg worth of um, items or goods or move things from one place to another. And then that's it. The pay is just there. So for all the jobs, the pay are just there. They are mostly, how would I call it? Um, I don't want to use the word minimum wage because sometimes they are higher than minimum wage. So you can be earning as much as $15 or $16 per hour for these kind of jobs. And then you just use it as a stepping stone to progress to something better. For people, for some people, they, do, they don't want these jobs. They just want to get back into their career. So they come with enough money and they are willing to wait, willing to wait it out until they get what they want. While some other persons feel that spending their settlement funds is uh, doesn't make any sense, especially if they can just get any job um, that can pay the bills. And one last thing I'd like to say is uh, while you are doing these jobs, it is important that you don't get stuck in it because I see a lot of people getting stuck in these jobs. And at the end of the day, they just keep complaining and complaining and complaining. For people whose occupations are regulated, and you know in Canada, it takes so much time for people, who, for people to get their license to practice. And this group of people, unfortunately, they might have to remain in these jobs for like three, four, five years until they get their license before they can now start practicing in their field. So if you walk into a Walmart and you see somebody behind the counter or if you walk into any of these customer service places or any of these call center aid places um, or if you see any security guard, just know that these people are actually doing these jobs because this is what gives them time to prepare for their licensing exam and it's just for a while. So you don't just look down on this group of people because it's just a temporary um, situation that is actually giving them time to prepare for something bigger and better. And um, that's, that's Canada for you. Unfortunately, not everybody will be able to work in the normal proper office environment because some persons have regulated professions and it takes time to get their licensing. Everybody's story in Canada is not the same. Some people just come to relax and take their time and all that, while some people just come and, you know, hit the ground running and they are achieving things and all that. So no two stories are the same. No two occupations are the same. It takes some people five years to get their license to practice while some other persons, it might take them three years or some other persons might take them 10 years. The bottom line is just put yourself in a situation where you know that you have to keep evolving and keep moving until you get to your destination. So this is the information I want to share. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.